Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder. Welcome to another edition of Speed Secrets. This episode is brought to you by the cam experts at Brian Tooley Racing. Now if you're an LS guy, you know that all the cam manufacturers design cams specifically for rec port applications, or specifically for cathedral port applications. The question now is, is there really a difference? I mean, what happens if we take a cathedral port cam and run it on a rec port application? Or take a rec port cam and run it on a cathedral port application? Does it completely destroy the power curve? Does it have no effect at all? Are the results somewhere in the middle? The only way to find out was to grab two sets of heads, a pair of cams, and jump on the dyno. Before we can check out our test motor and jump on the dyno, we need to understand why there's a difference between cathedral port cams and rec port cams. And it's all about head flow. Now on a typical cathedral port head, like the 799 that we use, the intake flow is between 245 and 250 CFM. On the exhaust side, the exhaust port flow is between 190 and 200 CFM. That means the exhaust flows about 75 or 80% of what the intake does. On the rec port application, you have a ton more intake flow, as much as 315 CFM. You've got about the same exhaust flow. So now the exhaust flows 65 or 70% of what the intake flows. And that requires revised cam timing. Now typically what the cam guys do is increase exhaust duration to help get that exhaust out on a rec port application. So now that we understand the differences between the cams, let's check out our test motor and start swapping some parts. 2008 6 liter LY6. Naturally we remove the VVT cam. Then installed 799 cathedral port heads. Feeding the 799 heads was a Dorman LS2 intake. Check out the specs on the cathedral port cam. The rec port cam was similar, but offered more exhaust duration. The two cams produced almost identical power curves. Now it was time for the 823 rec port heads. We replaced the 799s with the LS3 heads, then ran both cams with the 823 heads. Feeding the 823s was an LS3 intake. Once again, the power curves are almost identical. Well, the results are in, and you know what? It's really not that surprising. I mean, we've run this test a number of times, and every time the same thing happens. The camshaft with more exhaust duration loses power at the very bottom and picks up power at the very top. And it did this with both sets of cylinder heads. Neither one of the cams favored either one of the heads. I mean, think about this. Chevrolet offered the big block for almost four decades. They offered it in both a rectangular port and an oval port version. Now, did the cam guys make rec port cams and oval port cams for the big block Chevys? No, they just offered cams. Now we're not telling you you shouldn't get a rec port cam for a rec port application or a cathedral port cam for a cathedral port application. What we are saying is it doesn't make that big of a difference and you're going to win either way. I'm Richard Holder. That's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Brian Tooley Racing. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.